हे गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन माई नेम इज विपिन कुमार एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट माइक्रो सर्विस आर्किटेक्चर आई एम टेकिंग ए सैम्पल एप्लीकेशन ई शॉप ऑन कंटेनर टू एक्सप्लेन आर्किटेक्चर ऑफ माइक्रो सर्विस दिस इज ए डॉट नेट कोर एप्लीकेशन पावर्ड बाई माइक्रोसॉफ्ट this is a reference diagram of this application this is e-commerce application that represent a catalog of the product takes order from customer verify inventories dispatch order and perform other business functions this application has three components first is presentation so this is your presentation layer second components is domain or business logics it is responsible for business logic of the application it comes under this section third component is data access it is responsible to access application data so these are database components and last components is application integration this is your application integration components it is responsible to establish a communication between microservices and establish a channel of messaging between multiple components we will discuss in detail for each components the first component is presentation or client apps they can access the application from mobile apps they can also access the application from browser on desktop and they can also access the application via single page access web application these are application front ui a ui can be microservice ui front hand or monolithic application mobile app and spa is a microservice ui front hand and this is monolithic application this is the diagram for monolithic ui this monolithic ui is not dependent on any microservices but it can communicate to any microservices by using api and this diagram for advanced microservice front hands where multiple components of ui act as a single microservices and each components or microservice can communicate to other microservices this components can be a single microservice this can be another microservice this can be another microservice so this is the perfect example how you can break down a complete ui into different part of microservices let's go back to the original diagram now let's talk about second components that is api gateway before talking about api gateway we need to understand why do we required a api gateway between client app and microservice a client app can directly communicate to microservice it doesn't required a api in between client application is directly connecting to microservices now question comes why do we required the api gateway in between client app and microservices the most important reason is that we do not want to expose microservices directly to outside world due to security reason and second one from the development perspective we are offloading the communication layer from microservice to 
API gateway. If we do not have API gateway to accepting request from client application, then a developer has to write a logic on the microservices to accept the connection from microservices that include authentication, authorization, SSL encryption and many more. So we are putting a API gateway between to accept a client request and forward the communication to the microservices. API gateway will manage the traffic from client encrypted traffic via SSL certificate perform a centralized authentication or authorization and send authenticate request to microservices. In other word, we can say that we are offloading all the features from microservice to API gateway to manage a client traffic. In the diagram, you can see that we have basically four API gateway. Mobile application is connecting basically two API gateways that is shopping and marketing and single page application connecting to another API that is web marketing. This is traditional application that is connecting to web shopping API via MVC. We are having multiple API gateway for different sources. There are many region to have multiple API and the first one is we do not want a single point of failure. For example, if multiple sources or multiple client is connecting to a single API for a communication and for any reason if API goes down then our application is completely down. The another reason can be traffic management. We can have different type of the logic for different sources on different API. For example, we can aggregate a traffic from mobile client to mobile API to manage a traffic. Now let's talk about the communication between the client app and microservices. They are using a synchronous communication between client app and microservices. For the synchronous communication, they are sending traffic over HTTP and RESTful API. A synchronous communication means the client application sent a communication request to API gateway and API gateway forward this request to microservices. The mobile application will wait a communication back from microservices to mobile application in format of JSON, XML or HTML. The best example on synchronous communication we can understand like this. Mobile application send a synchronous communication to catalog microservices. The catalog microservices will response back with a list of product and client API use that information to display the product on the client side. Now let's talk about the third components that is microservices. You can see six microservices for this application. Each and every microservices are isolated from each other. First microservice is identity microservice. This microservice is responsible for identity management like authentication and authorization. Next microservice is catalog microservices. The catalog microservices is responsible to provide a list of the product on the application side. 
नेक्स्ट वन इज ऑर्डरिंग माइक्रो सर्विसेस दिस माइक्रो सर्विसेस इज रेस्पॉन्सिबल टू प्रोसेस द ऑर्डर ऑफ द क्लाइंट एंड नेक्स्ट वन इज बास्केट माइक्रो सर्विसेस दिस माइक्रो सर्विसेस इज रेस्पॉन्सिबल टू एड द आइटम इन द क्लाइंट और यूजर्स बास्केट और शॉपिंग कार्ट नेक्स्ट वन इज मार्केटिंग माइक्रो सर्विसेस दिस माइक्रो सर्विसेस इज रेस्पॉन्सिबल टू डिजिटल मार्केटिंग ऑफ द प्रोडक्ट लाइक सेंड ए प्रमोशंस ओवर द मेल सेंड ए कूपन्स ऑफ द प्रोडक्ट टू द क्लाइंट एंड लास्ट वन इज लोकेशन माइक्रो सर्विस दिस माइक्रो सर्विस इज रेस्पॉन्सिबल टू लोकेट और आइडेंटिफाई the location of the users from where it is using the application the next components we can understand in this diagram that is data access each and every micro services has their own data access or database for example identity micro service has a data access on sql database catalog micro service also using sql database ordering micro micro service also using sql server database the basket micro service are using redis cache instead of hard code database server marketing micro services are using a combination of databases mongodb cosmo db and sql 1 the similar way location micro service using two database that is mongodb and cosmodb and last component is event bus now question comes if these micro services are isolated from each other then how they are communicating with each other they are communicating with each other by using a asynchronous communication by using event bus what is asynchronous communication in the asynchronous communication the client or sender will not wait a response from the receiver sender just publish or send a message to a message service and other service subscribe to the message event or event bus for the particular publication or subscriptions for the event bus you can use any service like rabbit mq in open source azure bus in azure platform now let's understand this architecture in complete end user perspective for example a user can the e-commerce application from mobile traditional application and single page application in our example user is accessing the application from mobile app the client request goes to api gateway that is mobile shopping and the mobile shopping will send the communication to catalog catalog will list out all the product by accessing sql database and send a message to the event bus hey somebody is trying to access the product catalog now request go back to mobile application and other application like location micro service use that events and try to locate the location of the user this micro service is not waiting a response of this event like who is using my information now two things is happened a user is able to browse the product and application also able to locate the user location like any geographical area this micro service also using the database to find out a 
geographical area of the user now user selected some product and he is trying to add these product into the basket now the application is asking to user to sign in or login in the application before adding the product into the basket so the basket microservice will send this request to identity microservices identity microservices will authenticate and authorize of the users and send a token now the client application will send this request again to the basket microservices with token now user are successfully logged in in the application and user is able to add their item in the shopping cart and this microservice use redis cache also this microservice leave a message to the event bus and the catalog microservices subscribe this events to check and provide the product information like any changes into the prices if item is available or not in the inventory if item can be delivered on his location etc once user successfully able to add the item in the shopping cart next step is ordering the ordering microservices also send the api communication with the token that is sts and now user will able to order their product as soon as the user place an order two api is invoking one is ordering api and ordering background task both the api is calling the same database server the order api will further processing to the payment gateways collect the payment and generate a invoice the order background task microservices or sub microservices perform the background activity like dispatch this order to delivery team and update the inventories this microservices also leave a message to the event bus and these events or message used by other microservices once order microservices complete their activity and leave the message on the event bus the marketing microservices subscribe these events and send the promotions to the client as well as it also notify the users upcoming sales recommended the product this is the complete architecture diagram of the microservices how does it work how a microservice can communicate to other microservices this is the sample application written in dotnet core powered by microsoft you can deploy this application on single docker host environment or you can deploy this application on kubernetes cluster on any platform in the next video we are deploying this application on aks with azure native services in this video that's all thanks for watching have a nice day goodbye